Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In the previous video, we looked upon the tensor quantities and the vectors, and if you haven't checked that out, do check that out. And in today's video, looking into uh, the representation of a vector, like how uh, we do represent a vector. Uh, that is quite a simple and short topic, and we are getting into it very soon. Uh, yes, so uh, vector, like I will compare, I will be making comparisons for you between the vectors and the magnitude. Uh, from there you get to know the differences between the representation of vector as well as magnitude vectors vectors uh, is equal to and uh, magnitude okay so vectors let me write the first point like this is the first 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 way like so this is a for suppose this is a and uh, a and let me okay so this is the first way we have got different ways right this is the first way which i'm writing right now uh, this is a and this is short a so this is the first way to represent a vector like if vectors we are having they would be bold if we are having vectors they would be bold like you haven't got the difference they are quite similar magnitude and vectors are quite similar here but the only difference is that vectors are bold while magnitudes are not so this is a difference and this is quite a simple topic i do hope that you have got it uh, moving forward we have got another way in that uh, let me write number two way way number two so uh, what will happen over here is uh, I, or, or I would need a pencil for it uh, the way over here is like this if okay this is being need a sharp pencil this is a and do this is non bold you need to look upon it this is non bold and this is non bold as well so what is the difference between this and this between this and this what is the difference we have got a difference factors if they are non bold they would be presented like this which is an arrow showing direction and direction are a vector so these are showing that these are vectors they would have an arrow upon them that would clearly show that they are vectors while uh, over here the second way uh, this is the same I do hope that you are getting it that's not quite complicated uh, that's not uh, that much you know, complicated topic so we have got another last third way and that is quite a fun topic today so okay so the third way third way we are the last way we have got over here third i would be needing pencil in both cases so in third k uh, what we will get is like uh, that would be the same these would be the same like a with uh, the arrow and uh, small a with the arrow like this shows that uh, it is not necessary that one should be capital uh, the a should be capital for showing that this is a vector Th that is not the case like here we have got arrows that is the same process but here we have got different in the uh, magnitude like magnitude we can write with an arrow like we can do this for writing a magnitude magnitude of a vector quantity this can be shown the magnitude of a vector quantity like can be written like this a and a arrow so what would be the difference we have got a difference like there would be these brackets over here like we have in sets uh, the same we do have over here this practice do show that these are magnitude so these are the quite differences uh, I do have that got it because that was not that much complicated 
so uh, this was the first way we looked upon a and a we have got difference one is bold and one is not here we have got an arrow sorry for that uh, here we have got an arrow here we haven't and that is the same in this bo in these both are same and over here uh, in this case is these both are same and over here that is like this if you have got an arrow but what is the difference here in magnitude we have got a difference like we have got arrows so i do hope that you got cleared and we'll meet you guys in the next video still that goodbye